be sure to like and subscribe. That way you'll never miss an audio. Enjoy, sweetheart. Hero, it's been a while. How have you been? Yes, I don't even need to turn my head around to know that it's you. After so many times, I can just recognize your steps. Come, sit by my side. There's space for two under this tree. Why am I here? I'm just... thinking. No, not plotting anything. <laughs> I promise. Why would we fight? I'm not doing anything evil right now. And, to be frank, I don't want to fight with you. I just want to sit here and appreciate the view. And some old company would make me happy. Of course. Enemies, yes, we are, I guess. But do we really need to beat each other up every time we meet? Even when we're not doing anything to provoke one another? Does that make sense to you? As I thought, we think the same thing. Maybe we're not so different, you and I. I'm going to repeat my invitation. Sit by my side. We can talk. Or not. Whichever you'd like. I like to talk. But I also enjoy the silence. It's peaceful. Comfortable. I told you what I'm doing here already. Just sitting. Enjoying the view. Thinking. A lot. Every life we've had, every discussion, every fight, every death. Was all of that really necessary? What I mean is, why did we do all of those things? Why am I always the villain, even when I try not to be? Why are you always the hero, even when you try not to get involved? What is the reason? No, that excuse doesn't work for me. That's how things are. I don't believe that, and you don't believe it either. I can see it in your eyes. This is just something that you tell yourself so that you can sleep at night. It's hard to question things, isn't it? Because most of the time, you have no answers for these questions. Tell me, did you ever wonder why we always have the same role, even through different lives? And how come we remember our past lives? Why do I feel compelled to be a villain, and why do you feel the need to become a hero? What is controlling us? What power is forcing us to act like this over and over again? Aren't you tired? Yes, of course you are. I am too. I want to stop. I want to put an end to this. Of course there's a way. There has to be. I refuse to believe that we're trapped in this cycle. This isn't living anymore. We're just being eternally tortured for some deity's entertainment. Because whoever controls us and this universe, it has to be a deity. Only a god or a goddess is powerful enough to do this. And that's where you're wrong, hero. Even divine beings have their own weaknesses, and I will find out this deity's weakness before it gets tired of our show and decides to get rid of us for good. Being reborn over and over again and living this miserable fate of fights and deaths is horrible, but 
worse than that is not being reborn again and losing the chance to live like I want to live at least one time. Only one single time I want to do whatever I want. No villain and hero shit. No fights. No killing and robbing. No hurting anyone. Never again. I just want to have the opportunity to have a calm and quiet life where I am just myself. My true self, I mean. To be honest, I don't really know who I am. Or you, for that matter. We are what this deity wants us to be. Without their influence, how would I turn out? Would I be an extroverted person with no worries in the world? Would I be shy and reserved? Would I have a lover? A family? Would I finally be happy? I have all of those questions and no conclusive answers, but something tells me that if I had the free will I want, I'd have all of this and much, much more. You don't need to say anything. I just feel so alone. No one but us knows what's happening. So I wanted to tell you my thoughts and feelings, since you're the only person that's going through the same thing as me. <laughs> yes, I suppose I want some comfort. Yes, even if it is from my enemy. To be honest, it's been a while since I stopped seeing you as my enemy. When I realized what was really happening with us, I started seeing you as a victim. A puppet that has no control over their arms and legs, just like me. Don't deny it, hero. The strings are here, attached to us. We can't see them, but we can feel them. You can, right? The need to fight me even though we're having a peaceful conversation? The urge to kill me even though I didn't do anything bad yet? I know, because I want to do the same. I feel like I have to hurt you and kill you, like it's my only purpose. I'm trying my best not to. And every day, I try my hardest to not be an evil person. I try to not be the villain that this deity wants me to be. But sometimes, as you're aware, I fail. As do you. Yes, I know that you hate being a hero. The danger, the fights, the problems. You don't want anything to do with that. But that's the role you have to play. The hero. As my role is to be the villain, whether we want it or not. Just two puppets, entertaining their bored manipulator. Now tragic for the three of us. Ugh, I pity them too. The deity. Maybe if they had a better and happier existence, they wouldn't be torturing you and I like this. For now, all I can do is keep resisting as much as I can. But I know that when the time does come, I'll be forced to act like the villain I was designed to be. What about you? What will you do? Will you keep resisting? Or will you just give in? Good choice, hero. Maybe if we keep being stubborn... The writer of our fates will get tired of our rebellion, and instead of getting rid of us, they'll just leave us alone. Or, maybe not. Who knows how the mind of a deity works, right? Anyway, I think we should get as far away from each other as we can right now. I feel my arm itching to reach for the pocket knife in my robe. 
and then I don't know for how much time I can stop myself. And today, at least for today, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to be the villain. <laughs> yes, goodbye, hero. We will see each other soon. I'm sure of it. And goodbye to you on the other side of the screen. I'll see you soon, too. Very soon. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vinwin, Toka, C. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, Lunar, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do, be a patron or not, and be sure to check out all of my socials on my link tree in the pinned comment down below. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.